Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the other side of the coin. We are we are trapped. We as Chelsea fans, ladies and gentlemen, we are absolutely trapped. Now you might be asking how, why, how are we trapped, Ms. What's going on? Let me tell you something. Yet another loss this particular season, off the back of that loss against Middlesbrough, and the narrative in the social media scene, you know, all the all the information that's been dropping from the journalists is that our owners are not so much bothered at the moment. They're really not. They're looking to keep Mauricio Pochettino till the end of the season. They'll assess everything till the end of the season. They're saying that Nkunku still is a major weapon for us. This particular brother, uh, they, they say that he'll solve everything. Nkunku will solve everything. Nkunku at the moment can't solve himself, let alone solving Chelsea Football Club. They're saying that we're going to splash more money. I mean, uh, honestly speaking, I don't want us to spend a single penny anymore. Not in this window, not for this manager. This manager does not deserve any more funding. I would, If he's going to stick around, which looks like he will, for some reason, you know, our owners, our board, are too scared, are too scared to make this particular move of letting the, letting him go. And do you know what? He's not even the entire issue. There's there's bigger issues that I want to talk about, of course, why we are trapped, right? But this manager, I would not spend a single penny. I would demand him to change things around for us immediately with what we've already got. And if he can't, well, I'm, you know, I'll make that assessment till the end of the season. Right, if that's the case, if he has to stick around for me, there's still enough to rectify. For me, there's still enough if these owners actually pull their fingers out of their backside, we can still rectify the situation. Now, this is why I want to first talk about why we're trapped. We're trapped because if the owners and the board don't change the entire philosophy of this football club, then it doesn't matter what we do with the manager because they'll just sack this manager. And they'll still remain with their focus of getting kids, having this multi-club dimensional structure, you know, only thinking about revenue. They'll just end up getting another manager that is a total replica of Maurizio Pochettino. Because that's the kind of caliber, that's the kind of characteristic they're looking for in a manager. Someone who's not going to create too much fuss. Our owners have so much to learn. And one of the most fundamental things that they have to learn is how important a manager is to a football club. They keep seeming to undermine this position. They hold zero value on this position. They really think it's all about assembling all top talents across the world and then just throw in any manager. It doesn't matter. And whoop de doo we're going to have you know, positive results going for us. They don't seem to get how important the tactics of a manager is, how important the philosophy of a manager is, how important the in-game management of a manager is, how they can impact when things are going wrong and how they can change. Only elite managers have this. Why we are trapped? We're getting news coming out from journalists saying the data set. The data set is showing that Pochettino is doing well. This is the information we're getting from the journalists that the owners feel based on what they're seeing in data because they don't watch the game, that we are creating chances. We're just simply missing. We've got injuries. All it takes is a striker to come in and voila, it's all fixed. You've got to be kidding me. To all the people out there that are throwing this particular notion that we are creating a lot of chances we are missing, and that's the only factor. You are having a laugh. Of course, that is one of the issues, but there is a distinct issue in defense. We look so flimsy. We look so weak. There is a distinct issue in defense. The misprofiling in defense, continuously using Levi Cowell as left back, which is ruining his career. Every opposition, regardless of Premier League opposition, even championship oppositions are coming in and destroying Levi Cole. I'm not so over the moon or hyped up about Desasi or even Badishio. 
Even Thiago Silva is making mistakes. Malo Gusto is the only one in recent times that's, that can hold his head high. Everyone else, hold your head in shame. Midfield. Maurizio Pochettino is honestly a coward. We all know, and I've said it in recent times, if you don't know how to use Enzo Fernandez, even though Enzo Fernandez is a baller in my opinion, but since you're the manager and you have a certain trait in midfield, which is pace and power, then don't use Enzo Fernandez. If you don't know how to deploy Enzo Fernandez, don't do that. But he's a coward. He tries to still use him because obviously, you know, pressure from above, probably. But then let go of Gallagher. Change your gameplay. He goes for the easy option of playing all three, Caicedo, Gallagher, Enzo Fernandez. And you know what? Our midfield still looks rubbish. Even with three midfielders, we still look rubbish. There's no control. These owners, the board, they're saying that looking at the data, it tells that Chelsea Football Club are dominant in most games. BS, total BS. Watch games. There are games where we've won recently, and honestly, we could have lost. We could have lost. Not a single win this season that has given me a taste in my mouth that, oh, do you know what? That was fantastic. Even the games where I felt that we played fantastic, we didn't even win. Recent wins, everyone will admit it has still left a sour taste on our mouth because it wasn't complete perform performance at all. Every match, we seem to play only maximum 20 minutes of good football. And the other 70 minutes plus whatever it is, we are just drifting. Look at what we're doing in attack. I don't even need to go through every single match we've played so far. Just look at the one against Middlesbrough. We play with Cole Palmer first, first up, and we are spamming crosses when we are behind. Then we bring in Breuer, and then we stop spamming crosses when we actually have a striker. Consistently using players that are inconsistent. And not allowing others to have a proper run. I'm not saying, for example, Mudrik. I'm not saying he's some sort of a world beater. He's done amazingly well. But at least, you know, you, you continue with him. But that's, that's just one particular matter. I'm not even here to big up Mudrik. Because the entire show has been rubbish. The entire show has been rubbish. Why should we continue? This is what I mean. Like, we are trapped. Our owners, if they don't change their philosophy, fans, if we don't step up and voice our opinion loudly, nothing will change. Fans at, at Stamford Bridge need to wake up and demand change right now. That's the only way it's going to change. We have to send a message to the owners that stop all of these BS vision about plucking out talents all across the world, trying to make a profit out of it, creating all these multi-clubs under the Chelsea banner. Not only you're ruining Chelsea, you're going to be ruining those clubs as well. Strasbourg, for instance, apparently they've got a budget of 25 million or something in this window. And our owners this, these are the words at the moment, journalists coming up. Our owners are only focused on bringing in players under the age of 23, not even 25. You're potentially going to ruin Strasbourg. This is why Strasbourg fans are now upset. Now I get why Strasbourg fans are upset. I, I wasn't understanding it in the beginning. They want to buy Sporting Lisbon. Oh my God, Sporting Lisbon fans, be scared. Be very, very scared because your club is about to get destroyed. Demand from the owners a proper plan first. We need the fan base to wake up and these sporting directors that we have as well, absolute Mickey Mouse sporting directors, analysts previously, they didn't even have the experience to run a football club from a sporting director point of view. They don't have experience as a sporting director. 
they're experts in Excel spreadsheets. We are trapped. We are absolutely trapped as a fan base because I think it's quite evident now to see that someone like Maurizio Pochettino, he's incompetent in so many levels. He's not even a coach. In recent times, I've said all the stuff that he's been saying, all the nonsense comments that he's been making pre-match prior to Middlesbrough. And he said that even uh, a while back, just before the Spurs game as well. This guy is a friend of these players. This guy is no manager. Tactically inept. If we were a serious club, we'd be thinking about changing the philosophy of the entire club immediately. Getting rid of this manager, bringing in someone elite who actually knows how to win stuff at the highest level and has won it multiple times. Getting rid of these sporting directors and bringing in an elite sporting director that has actually achieved success in the highest order. And the owners completely taking a back, you know, backseat and observing. We still have certain fans in the fan base that are quite okay. The Maurizio Pochettino is still sticking around until the end of the season. They don't want him gone now. It's going to be all interesting, man. If we don't make it to the finals of the Carabao Cup, Middlesbrough, I just had the members call in earlier today. Members call in show. And one of the members, Alhambra, said, Middlesbrough, with that 1-0 lead, you best believe in the second leg, they're going to play like their family is, you know, are kept as hostages. That's how they're going to play. They're going to fight. They're going to they're going to bite your legs, your arms, everything. Let's see if we're up for it. Let's see if we're up for it. We've got Fulham coming up, and I believe Fulham's winning at the moment. The last time I checked, they could potentially end up losing. Last time I checked, yeah, they're still winning against Liverpool. We've got Fulham next. There's no consequence of failure. There's no pressure at this football club. It's all hunky-dory. It's all hunky-dory, ladies and gentlemen. It's all hunky-dory. <sighs> Where do we do? What do we do? Where do we go? All I can say is that us fans, we just need to keep voicing our opinions. Tag the owners. Tag anyone that's involved with the football club. And we just have to pray that the fans that go to Stamford Bridge really, you know, get, gets their voice across, gets their opinions across. Because right now, this is not good enough. Honestly, you continue this way, Chelsea Football Club could just disappear. I'm, I, I kid you not. Two seasons in a row now, we've been mediocre. We have seen previously Leeds United play Champions League semi-final, you know. I've seen Leeds play Champions League semi-final and they disappeared. Carry on like this for another few more seasons, you will become irrelevant. We won't get new fans. The fandom will stop here. All the existing fans, that's it. New fans will not be attracted to Chelsea Football Club. They'll be picking other clubs. It's very important for the sustainability of the club to keep acquiring new fans, to keep building on that for the new generations to come. Not going to be able to attract, not going to be able to attract, you know, even new business dealings. If the football club does poorly, we have to think, we have to think, ladies and gentlemen, we have to think, we need to come out of this trap. And it all starts from the top all the way till the bottom. Honestly, there is no one elite in this football club. No one elite. No one elite. Hope you guys have enjoyed this. Smash the like button, guys. If you're here for the first time, subscribe. Hit the bell notification to stay in touch with all my content. I'll go through all the news in tomorrow's stream. Do make sure you're there. Uh, we've got all you can eat Chelsea as well. So um, we'll, we'll obviously be there for that as well. Until next time, everyone. Take care. See ya.